What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day. So as you guys know, two years ago now, HP and I bought this Ford Transit van, which we converted to a camper van for the purpose of renting it out on platforms like Outdoorsy and RV Share. Now the original plan was to have this RV completed in just six months, which we didn't do because it's been about two years now but the van is basically complete and today we're gonna to be taking it out of our backyard. Now we originally moved the van back in our backyard so we could work on the van in peace. Nico could be out here frolicking and not screaming because we're not paying attention to him. It just made sense. We can do all of our woodwork and all of our tools can be secure. And so in order to get this camper van out of the backyard, we have to actually move this fence out of the way and then HP has to drive it out of the yard so that we can finish the rest of the build and be completely done. So the very first step of the process is to take this fence apart. Now fortunately the fence comes apart in sections, so we're going to be taking apart this section and this section and then we should just be able to drive out the camper van really easily, but we'll see how it goes. So here we have it, the fence is out, and now it's time to drive that camper van through this fence hole. Piece of cake. So here we have it, the camper van is in the driveway, but let's first check out the backyard because we have not seen the backyard without a van in it in over two years. Man, our backyard looks rough. What's back here? What's not back here? Whoa, dude. <laughs> the hell? Where'd the van go? Now our backyard looks rough, but we told ourselves that once we got done with the van and once we got the van out of the backyard, that would then prompt us to then begin remodeling the backyard. So we're gonna be cleaning up all of these spare parts, cleaning up that area where the van was, and we're gonna be getting a new fence very soon because we desperately need one. But man, it feels good to not have the van back here. I feel like it's been like a permanent fixture in our life, in our backyard, and it's gone now. Now don't worry, a camper tour is gonna to be coming very soon. Nico's desperate to see the inside of it as well, but we've got a few things we still need to do. We have to wash it, we have to register it, make sure there's no open safety recalls on it, and we have to replace the tires because tires that have been sitting for two years on the same spot have to be replaced. And we definitely are gonna have to clean the inside because this entire van needs a deep clean and the driving quarters are covered in sawdust. Just a little dirty up here. It's actually much dirtier than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> there's just some tools, whatever. So one of the things that we need to do to get our van ready for the road is replacing the tires. Now the tires on these are fitted so they're very heavy load bearing which means you can pack this bus full of the 15 seats that it had and have room for luggage and still be able to even tow some extra stuff as well. But these tires are very narrow and when we're hitting the open road we don't know what climates we're going to see. We're going to have renters that are going to see snow, we're going to have some that are going to see mud, dirt, sand and this thing cannot get stuck, especially when they're driving it out and about and we can't be there to pull them out. So we're going to go to Discount Tire and we're gonna order some new tires and equip it with some beefier all-terrain tires that are still gonna be able to handle the load that this van needs. The next day. So we just got word from Discount Tire that our tires for the van have been mounted and they're complete. Let's go check it out. All right, drum roll. Da, 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 
ta 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 It's Britney, bitch. Boy, howdy, we got some meaty ones on here now. These are the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. Now, because this van was a passenger van and it can be very heavy with all of our stuff, but it was meant to be heavy, you need heavy-duty tires, which these are gonna support up to nine, well, 12,000 pounds of load, so very fortunate to have these. Now, fortunately, I did a lot of research to see what was the biggest tire I could go on this setup without rubbing or having to do any other major modifications. I only had to do a little bit of trimming right here and a little bit on the other side. I might clean that up a little bit, make it rust proof, but other than that, we're ready to rock and travel all around the world. Now, honestly, I'm super happy with how they look. They definitely make the van as a whole look much more aggressive. And I just think that they really do turn this van from being like a cargo van to being a camper van. Yeah. Now, they did cost $1,200, so for 1200 bucks, they better look good. Wait, why did they cost $1,200 again? Well, for one, we got them from Discount Tire and I purchased something that I don't often purchase, which is the Road Hazard Warranty and the Lifetime Rotate and Balance on these tires, which means I can take them in every 5,000 miles, get them rotated, make sure they're nice and evenly wearing. And if they're not, I have a warranty on the tire itself up to like, I think 60,000 miles or something like that. So not bad. They are name brand tires, which is something I wanted to go with. And because the construction on these tires are meant to be very durable, they're obviously gonna cost a little bit more because this van and like other vans these have to be very heavy load rating tires this car carries 15 passengers or used to and other cargo vans even have to carry a lot of weight so naturally the tires are gonna be that much more expensive so we got the tires done we got the van out of the backyard what needs to be done next state inspection and registration now HP and I are on our way to go get this van inspected. Now it took a little bit longer than anticipated because we had to get a quote for insurance and we had to get the van all signed up for insurance, which was a bit of a process considering the fact that it's a converted van, but we ended up getting that squared away. It's gonna cost about $100 per month to fully insure it, which I feel like is relatively reasonable, but we may end up looking for some other options. But let's head over to Firestone to get this inspected so that we can finally have have it legally drivable. And here he goes now. One hour later. You got the deed. I got the deed. It's like a big old magic school bus. Minus the school. We're the magic. We're the bus. It's just the van. Well, you guys, there you have it. We got the van out of the backyard, and she's roadworthy. And there are a handful of things that we still have to do to the van before it's 100% ready to go. HP does have to make some finishing touches to the interior construction, and then all of the stuff that I bought over the last few weeks needs to be installed and placed into the van. But I would say within the next seven to maybe 10 days, this thing is going to be ready to go. Now a full van tour is going to be coming very, very soon and we cannot wait for that. But in the meantime, you guys, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next video.